And that's pretty good camera, that's her. Yeah. Hi, today we've got my partner, um, who is going to be opening up our packages. It has been, it has been. I have had a few requ requests for him to be in my video. So, you know, I thought, why not? Let's, Here I am. Let's let him. So he is going to be opening them. Yeah. And first of all, I'm just going to show you this one that I got off of eBay. I am waiting for one off of Wish to compare the two. It is the Rose Gold Elixir 24 Karat Gold Infused Beauty Oil. So it comes in a box like that. And... It comes in a, uh, oh shit, what's that called? Ceramic. A jar thing, like that, with a Doppler. Is it called a Doppler? I think it's called a Doppler. I have no idea what it's called. I don't know, you know, one of them droppy things. An adapter. So, you suck it up in there, and don't want to drip this everywhere, but that is what, uh, the lit that went on my phone. So that's what the liquid inside is like it smells a bit funky not too bad but it's got a bit of a yeah it smells kind of like almost fruity but weird fruity hmm so that's that as i think i paid three pound on ebay i can't remember i think it might have been slightly more actually um but i am waiting for the one off of wish to compare the two so that will be in another one of my makeup videos that you guys would like me to do so now this is on to him right well in that case okay let's talk up a bit yeah in that case i'll look at this one first what is that ah check it out that is sure. this that's this thing it's a little 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 pot so we can get it open and inside it there is the little charm what's that the charm of again it's the tree of, the life. Tree of life yes which is that and that's the back of it it has this little something or other on it there and it says family i don't know if you're going to be able to see that because it's very small but that is a silver charm to go on a bracelet i like the trees of lies to design design my own as a tattoo so that was quite a good find because that's quite fe meaningful to me the tree of life is so that was our first one which one which did you chuck the rubbish away uh, the rubbish is just there i think i might oh, let's take a, i think i might shotgun this one next because i know what this is i'm excited right so for all you doctor who fans for all you doctor who fans we have a key ring of the tardis and obviously that's the time machine from doctor who Obviously, it's the doctor's vehicle. It hasn't. You noticed it hasn't got something written on it, though. Yes. Normally, on the TARDIS, on the door, there's a sign for police box. Don't uh, like to let people know that it's only for police use or to contact the police. Um, but it's not on this model. It's still got the police box writing above the door, um, but it doesn't have that bit. So it still looks like the TARDIS, but it's potentially it's maybe not as perfectly accurate as it could have been but it's still very good quality. It's, uh, I think it's cast iron, um, so it's really, really good quality, one solid piece. So yeah, I have ordered um, another one a bit like this, where in the picture it does say police box on it, so when we get that through, we shall do a comparison of the two for the quality and um, just to see the difference, really. But that's gonna go with our collection of things. As I said, if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you'll see what I do with all of our collections of stuff like the Star Labs necklace and um, the other bits and bobs that you have seen of ours. So, right, uh, our next let's one. Let's go for this one then. Let's try this one. Um, right, this is, this. ah, this is that little bracelet. So the, the cat keeps, um, the you cat's right, wanting to get involved, guys. Do you want to come and do your wish haul with us? No! Don't stand on the keypad. Just oh, stop no, my recording. No, no. It's okay. Right, we've got here a little bracelet. Does it say centimetres on it? Um, it this is a 18 centimetre. 18. So it's an 18 centimetre bracelet. And the way you link it up is obviously you just pop that bit in there and then close it up. So it's quite a quite a simple locking mechanism. It's quite small and it's quite it's made of quite nice 
Nice metal. It looks. It doesn't feel like it'd be rough on your skin at all. I think it'd be quite smooth. It's a bit like the Pandora bracelets. Obviously, it isn't Pandora, but um, it is a bit like them, and that's what my charm is going to go on to. And I don't know if you can see that, but it says love. Hold up, just up this way a bit. No, up this way. But... Just on the thing. It just says love, literally just there. It's quite small, but it says it. It's nice. Yeah, it's a nice little bracelet, isn't it? Yeah, I did order two of these. I ordered one in a 16 centimetre and one in an 18 centimetre because I realised even though I've got skinny wrists, once I put the charms on the 16 centimetre, it may not fit that well. So we will give that a test. But that's that's very nice. I like that. And um, as he said, it is very good quality. I did just notice though, it has got a little bit of discoloration there. I don't know if you guys can see that. So... I don't think the chain has broken on it. I shall try and get that off, and if I can't, I will probably comment to Wish about it. I don't often try and complain to Wish, but um, if you're going to be giving this as a gift or something, you want it to be perfect. So there's the imperfection. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, we shall see. Uh, that one there is essentially essentially the same thing, except that's oh, yeah. a 16 centimetre bracelet rather than an 18. So this is the first one. You can definitely see the size difference. Um, this one hasn't got love, was it love? Yeah. Written around the clasp, but it does still uh, do up and undo the set. I can't undo it because of my fingers. Can you undo that? Yeah, I'll do that for you. There we go. So yeah, it still undoes and does up exactly the same way. It just doesn't have the love written there. So yeah, they're both good quality. I don't think I can see. Can I have that one a minute? Yep, sorry. I can't see any imperfections on this one. Uh, so yeah, as I said, I'll try and get it off that. And if I can't, I am unfortunately going to have to complain. Because I can't really give it as a gift like that. No. Okay, so that's empty. That is empty, yes. Right, this one next. This one is another one I'm excited about. This one? <laughs> yes, this is a really cool, cool one. Right, again... For anyone who is a fan of the Flash TV show or the Flash comics from DC Comics, then this... Good old Barry Allen. Yeah, good old Barry. That... And Felicity Smoke. ...is the Flash logo, and it's a very, very nice Flash logo. It's incredibly well made. Um, as far as I can tell, it's actually the official one from the CW TV show, because that's the CW TV show logo. And hold it so far down. Um, so that's a that's a very very nice flash necklace. It's quite heavy. It's but not it's a necklace. Very, it's not, a key ring. Sorry, not necklace. Key ring. Yes, it's um. That's the back of it. Very well made. And that's the front. So yeah, pretty tough for that. Oh, definitely, definitely, it's perfect flash logo. I just don't know which way we're going to put it up on our display. I might have to find something to hang it off. So. We get to see both pretty sides. Mm. And I think this is our last one, isn't it? I, I believe it is, yeah. And then after this, I am going to have a Doom haul for you guys. Um, I think it will be my third Doom haul. I have got um, this full of Doom packages. Still got a Bing bag full of Wish packages and more on the way. I'm still waiting for my one-off AliExpress. Um, it has been over a month. I ordered on the 20th of August. It is now the 1st of September, October, sorry. And I still haven't received it. So, hmm. AliExpress, pull your finger out. Look, this one, these are quite nice, actually. You have to get quite close to the camera to see these. But oh, here you go. We'll blue tack one onto this. What you can see, you can see these little different charms. So these are more charms for the bracelets that I just showed you guys. Um, I have attached a black one onto here. They've got very thick, um, um, oh God, what are those bits called that you thread the chain through? Um, holes. Would, yeah, yeah, I, but I, I don't want to call them, they're not. The chain thick. holes, like. Yeah, you know, the bits that you put the chain through are very nice and thick. This is a black one, they came in a pack of two As three, also, four, uh, a five what? um you need to hold them up more here that's a nice purple and oh they're both purple a nice lilac and a darker purple we have also got a white one and a pink one 
So they came in a pack of five. As I've said, the quality of these, compared to, what did I do with that other one? Compared to the Tree of Life, you can see the thickness difference in, in those. So yeah, even though this is a really nice one and it's very good quality and I'm very proud of it, pleased with it, sorry, these ones are slightly better quality and you can just really feel the quality difference, can't you? Yeah, the thing with these ones that I really like as well is that you can very, it, it's like really, really good quality. None of the gems are like out of line at all. Yeah. Sometimes with cheaper things like this or sometimes with things that you get online, you'll find that the gems are slightly like out of line a little bit, but these ones are actually all perfect. They're all perfectly straight and they're really, really nice. Very good quality. So um, do you want to pick one more out of the bag quickly? Oh yes, a lucky pick, which bag? Okay. Let me just grab the bin bag and you can lucky pick one out of here. Right. Rummage good. I'm just going to go near the bottom and I'm going to pick out this bad boy right here. Oh, what's that? I How are we meant to know what I, it is? I do not know. I can't. It's a bag. It's a bag. Oh. Ooh, right. What we've got here is... What was it? What was this? Right, it says hand on it. Is it hand cream? Is it some hand moisturizer? It says, it says purple hand. Oh my gosh. And then, it, and then it looks like this. Can you see underneath it, everyone? Like it's had this little lid on it and it's all just, that's quite weird. I'd... Ah, look, it really has separated from. Should I take this label off and see if I can read what under, it says underneath it? Ah, uh, what is this? This isn't that slime stuff because I wouldn't have bought slime. Is That's just putty? disgusting. It's like putty that you play with. I can't remember what this is. Um. Oh yeah, it's that. Oh, I remember this now. It's got a magnet in it, guys. Oh my god, this is getting everywhere. <laughs> um. Okay, so I think you're meant to warm this up in your hands, obviously. I'm trying to get the blink in. Right, there's a magnet. It's still covered in some of this stuff. Um. Oh, wow. So yeah, I think this is that putty stuff that you warm up in your hands, you put it down and get a strong magnet and um, it will like start creeping up around the magnet or something. But this is a really small magnet and if you ask me, it wouldn't be able to do a lot. Do you remember those snake egg magnet things that I got? That the, the, They were like this long, kind of bullet shaped and um, they were very, very well magnetised. In the I... UK, we call those oids, don't we? Oh, oids. Yeah, that's what they were known as when I was in school. Oids. 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 Because <laughs> of the noise they make. Um, but I think that's the type of magnet that you will probably need for this stuff because it's... Right, let me... Um... Right, I'm it's just... Sinking, I'm going to try and adjust the camera, guys, so that you can oh, see. Oh, oh, look. It's eating it up. It's pretty much eating it all. Oh wait, I've got to adjust the zoom control first before I pan it down. Right, I'm quickly going to get the magnet out so All I can right, guys, show you guys that. Because that this, was quite cool. I reckon you guys might like that. This is not working for me right now. Right. Okay, so he's going to hold it up and... Oh no, it zoomed in. Oh. oh my god, it finally did what I wanted it to do and now I don't know what it's doing. Oh, stuff it. Alright, so if I pop that on my hand and flatten it down a little bit and show you... If I pop that there, so there's the magnet that we've got, and what I'll do, if I just pop that on there, you'll see it instantly start sinking into it and engulfing it, and if you see, it's, it's gone. pretty much almost already gone. That's pretty cool. I don't know why I bought this. Yeah, I don't know what purpose this item serves. Uh, it's very, very strange on your hands. Um... It's like those aliens that you used to get out of the Oh, eggs. the alien eggs. You know, the ones that apparently if you put next to each other, they would, like, procreate. They never did. That was fake. That, that. I think that was just to get the kids in interested. But, yeah, this is purple <coughs> hand. Does it smell? It's kind of completely smellless, to be honest. Oh, I thought it would smell really chemically. Uh, I thought it would smell like Play-Doh type stuff. But it, yeah. it really doesn't smell, really almost has no scent at all. I'll let the cats interested. Oh, it's very peculiar though, very peculiar. Oh, the way it just 
this this is weird, guys. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I don't. Yeah. It's the sort of thing I can imagine seeing in like a. I mean, just look movie. at it. It looks like it's a chewed up sweet, like those chewy bar. Oh my life! Yeah, so that's that. That was. Um, <laughs> I'll put this way quickly. We're getting very messy here, so we're going to end this video oh, here. Wow. And I shall see you guys soon with the gym haul. I hope you liked this video. If you didn't, I'm ever so sorry, but we wanted to do it. It's been asked to be done, so. Yeah. Yeah. You will see him in more videos of mine because I've really enjoyed him being here with me. Yeah, no, I've enjoyed this. Um, it's been fun. I like it. So, yeah, thanks guys for watching. Yeah, cheers, guys. Don't forget to go and check out Suddenly 21, Roxy Minx. You all know Bonnie and Love Owls and Unicorns anyway. So just carry on checking out all of us little um, YouTubers as well and go and support all of the little ones and obviously support all of the big ones as well. But some of the little channels just need a little bit of encouragement and a little bit of support. So if you guys could just go over there and thumbs up their work, I'm, I'm pretty sure they'd be happy for that. So cheers anyway, and I shall see cheers. you soon. Bye.